Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is May 21st, 2015 and today is Thursday. So looking at the economic calendar this morning, we've got a few a number of numbers coming out um, this morning starting out with 9 a.m. South Africa time, the Euro French flash manufacturing number, subsequently a 9.30, another Euro number, the German flash manufacturing number, and then 10.30 GBP number coming out, retail sales for the month, and then more importantly, a 130 number, euro number coming out, uh, the ECB, Central Bank of uh, European Central Bank, will be uh, having a monetary policy meetings, and that's going on the back of yesterday's monetary policy meetings in the U.S., so that should be kind of interesting. And then at 2.30 uh, South African time, we have unemployment claims, and at 4 p.m., we have existing home sales, the USD number and a Philly Fed number coming out at 4 p.m. South African time. So chock full of nuts of economic clues coming out today, but let's look at the markets. So we're looking here at the Euro USD. This of course is last night's number at the meeting minutes. You know, it's a, it's a lot of very volatile moves, um, but no direction. We're back right where we were before. And looking at the move right now, uh, we're at the bottom of the retracements at 111, as you can see here. Um, as you can see before, we hit all the way up to 114, and then we retraced down. So we're still on this neckline. We're at the bottom of the neckline. So again, it'd be interesting to see if it maintains this threshold right here, or if it's going to break it and then find another soft landing at 110. So I would really look for some support here. Uh, see if you if we can hold this level here before we go either further down. Um, again, it's a good place actually to pick it up because it's at the bottom of the range. Um, looking at the GBP USD here, uh, this is a daily chart. Of course, um, looking at the chart right here, we retrace just like we did with the Euro USD, and now we're bouncing right off the level. So this, like I said yesterday, this is a great place to really uh, pick it up Okay, at about right here, uh, just to pick it up uh, as it ends up in this trading range. Um, and it's previously a resistance, previously a resistance, not perfect, but previously a resistance. So this was a really great place to pick it up uh, in the anticipation that it's going to bounce a little bit right here. If it doesn't follow through and it continues breaking down, then I, I would really cover my short and flip it because... Um, it's at a threshold. This is a major threshold for the GBP USD. So, with the news coming out today uh, out of the euro and with the news coming out of uh, the US, I'd really keep an open eye on this to see how it's going to continue trading for the week. Looking at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones sold off a little bit yesterday. Nothing monumental, but it did sell off a little bit yesterday. So, on that expectation of having some sort of big green bar on the upside to show that you know it's really being bought and really uh, has some strength has yet to be seen uh, so you know in the anticipation that it's gonna uh, come through for us unfortunately has not come through for us on the upside so we have to take that into consideration and just keep an eye on the Dow Jones uh, just remember next week is the last week of May so that might have some big deal and some some major uh, effect on what we're going to do for the rest of the summer. Um, looking at oil here, yeah, not much done yesterday, but you see here it's trading very much like the Euro USD and the GBP USD. As you can see here, we, we rallied right back and then we've sold off a little bit off this neckline, off this resistance here, uh, and we're finding some sort of footing. So, you know, looking at all these three charts, there's a lot of similarity. Look at them. Okay, this one right here, the CL. Okay, I'm going to just highlight it for you so you can see uh, the CL, the GBP, and the Euro trading very, very much alike. Okay, so keep an eye on them um, and compare them to one another to see which one is a lagger, which one is a, is a, is the leading indicator, so on and so forth. And uh, it'll help you, you know, assess if there's some sort of arbitrage in the market uh, to see, you know, if one is taking off and the others are lagging, uh, the idea is, is that the one that's lagging is going to catch up. So um, I'll give you an in, in 
as to the direction of the market. Looking at the gold here, again, not much doing here, just bouncing a little bit at 1, uh, 12.11. Uh, as we said here, this was the upper range of 12.26, and you see we retraced right back. Uh, so let's see if it does follow through also on this neckline. This is Fred Rays. I could see I'm trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.